Hello, I am Future Genocide, and I am getting a little tired of recording this. This is the fifth time I'm recording this, and this is my top five games of 2016. Before we get started, here are the rules. A, I need to have played it, so while Gears of War 4 looks like something I would really enjoy, I have not played it, so it will not be on here. Two, it needs to come out in North America in 2016. Why do I have specifically in North America? Because Japan likes to be bitches with their localization sometimes. Three, no remasters. Because there have been past years where half the list would have been fucking remasters if I didn't have this rule. And that's the entire reason it was ever created in the first place. Okay, so, moving on. Number five, a game I only really recently picked up, so I haven't gotten all the way through yet, but... I know I'm already falling in love with it, Dark Souls 3. It plays a bit like Bloodborne with a style of Dark Souls. It's great. And then you even have the enemies that pop transform and it's like, oh shit, he's a demon tree. I haven't gotten to play it too much because I only really recently picked it up. But just from the little bit I've played, I'm like, yep, I'm going into Bloodborne mode again. And seeing as that was my favorite game last year, or at least the thing that was, yeah, that was last year. Pretty sure it was. Then, of course, this one was going to be somewhere on this list. Now, number four, a game, also a game I recently picked up, XCOM 2. Something about this game has completely caused me to become obsessed with playing it. Perhaps it's the story, perhaps it's the fact that I n never completed Enemy Within. Still trying to do it. That game has kicked my ass, and I cannot fucking get it to not kick my ass. I have been trying. But I'm, this one's not kicking my ass as much, and hey. I don't know, something about it is making me more obsessed with it than the first one. But, it looks graphically, looks good. Gameplay, yeah. XCOM still as refined as last time. Story, I'd say a little better because now we're the underdog trying to fight our way back to not being having alien overlords overall it deserves to be in number four number three a game I didn't pick up recently because I actually picked it up when it came out Titanfall 2 it's essentially Titanfall 1 with all the problems with almost all the problems fixed the multiplayer has a good amount of content and you're not gonna go through it all in two hours two there is a single-player campaign with an actual story. Decent story, too. And it's actually fun. Then, yeah, the things that are kept from last time, the shooting mechanics are still are still as great as they have been since these guys made them in Call of Duty 4. The movement system still works great, still feels great. Unlike Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it's actually fun to use. It makes me want to use wall running. It's like Titanfall 2... Great game, although fuck you for killing BT twice. Number three, two, because that was number three. Okay, number three, or er, fuck, I, I've had to record this so many times, my ability to go from five to one correctly is getting fucked up. Okay, number two. First of all, number two and number one, I went back and forth on for most of the year. But... I'm gonna stick with what I've decided. Number two, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Yeah, long ass title. More importantly, it's Nep. They introduced a ginger character. The game I've gotten 150 hours out of so far. The writing isn't same as always. They mess with the gameplay a little bit to add a new to add a new like level to the combo system and it's a bit more in depth because now instead of just having a stronger weapon while well, the weapons affect what combos you can use and which ones work better with it so essentially it's Wait, so of, I'll go give okay, him his arms back and I'll weapon. give him the fucking lightning gun as his left arm weapon. weapon for the kind of combos I want to be using so little by little we're getting there and it's, like I said, it's a decently long game, and it has the usual Neptunia writing, which makes me laugh all the time. Besides, it gave me a way to yell at myself. Now, number one. Fucking Doom. 
I love Doom. I bought the collector's edition of Doom. I'm looking at my statue right now. I'm holding a poster for Doom that I bought yesterday. I've still yet to put up. I'm looking at the other posters for Doom that I have. I love this game. It is metal as fuck. Honest to God, great game. Hands down, love it. Why do I love it so much? Because it's metal as fuck. The campaign is fun. It essentially plays like an updated version of the original Doom. And that's beautiful because the original Doom mechanics that it maintains still hold up. Then you have the multiplayer, which not a lot of people loved, but I actually really did. It mixes, just like the campaign, it mixes old Doom gameplay and some new ideas. You have power ups lying around the map, you have power weapons lying around the map, but at the same time, you have customizable loadouts. Not fully customizable, like, oh, I'm going to put a scope and a stock on this weapon, like Call of Duty and Battlefield. But, to the extent of, I want this gun, I want this gun, and I want this grenade type. Then, you have Snap Map, allowing you to create your own content and play content created by other people. And some people get fucking creative with it. I played Five Nights at Freddy's and Pac-Man in Doom. I shit you not. And then there's the free updates. Because they've had five specifically titled free updates. And each one of them has added in a good, like, some good piece of content. Be it a new game mode for multiplayer. A new entire kind of content for Snap Map. Or new options for all modes, such as field of view sliders and even the ability to have your gun in the center of the screen like the classic Doom games. And then they added a fucking arcade mode, which is essentially a score run mode, into campaign. It's beautiful. I love this game. I want to play this game, but more importantly, I want to play XCOM right now. So I'm going to stop recording this. Hopefully this recording actually fucking works, because this is the fifth time I've recorded this audio and it's pissing me off. Because the last time, fourth time I recorded it, it sounds like shit. Of course, I sound like shit, because I'm a little sick. I didn't want to record shit today. But the fourth recording didn't want to fucking work. How's that for bullshit? Or not fourth, the third one. But, regardless, it's been fun. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go play some XCOM and kill some aliens.